Hi, Jillaholics and Polish Princesses and all of you stamper, stamping holics, <laughs> stampaholics, there we go. Um, these are Color Club nail polishes and they make awesome stamping nail polishes. I um, heard about them through Glitter Nails for Me and I will link her Instagram account um, in my description box below. We message back and forth when she finds something good and she'll send me a picture. So it's completely awesome. In fact, this one on the rocks, I didn't know if it would be a good stamping polish because the other ones are holographic. And she said the holographic ones were really good stamping polishes. So I asked her when I was in the store, I, you know, messaged her, hey, is, you know, on the rocks good? Because I knew she had this one. And she's like, oh, wait a minute, let me go stamp it. And so she did and she sent me a picture and it's an awesome stamping polish. So I am really pleased. I specifically purchased these for stamping only. Color Club does make a gel nail polish as well. They don't sell any of their gel nail polishes at Head to Toe Beauty but I really wanted these just for stamping and specifically for stamping snowflakes because winter is coming and I've got a whole bunch of really cool nail art ideas and I needed snowflake stamping colors. Oh, last minute. Yeah, it's November and all of a sudden I need snowflake stamping colors. Oh my gosh, why didn't I think of it sooner? <laughs> so, um, let's get into the video and let me, let's, let's get into the swatches. Let me show you my swatches. For the stamping today, I'll be using my Bundle Monster um, Bugger Collab of, um, it's Polina's Passions. And I'll be using my Bundle Monster Monocle Stamp and Scraper. This is On the Rocks and it is beautiful creamy silver. And this is one coat of On the Rocks. It, it's got a really nice creamy formula. Very easy to apply. Just trying to straighten out some of these lines. Okay, we'll just see how that dries and then we'll come back for a second coat. Say this is opaque in one coat and you probably don't even need to but we'll just add two and it looked perfect after it dried I think it looks really good. Okay, let's see how On the Rocks stamps. It seems like you're going to have to scrape it a couple of times. And the pickup on the image is completely awesome. I really like that. I would say this makes a really good stamping nail polish. I love how that looks. I like this as a stamping polish. This is really cool. Next is Blue Heaven. The camera is picking up a lot of just the holographic rainbow color in there, but it is really a pretty light colored blue as well. Just like the other one, it um, applies really good, really nice and smooth. Yeah, it looks like the camera is showing now some more of the, just the blue of it, which is very beautiful. And this, this seems to cover pretty well on one coat, but we are going to put two on there. Now it's time for the second coat. Which is very beautiful. Let's 
see how it stamps. And the pickup is pretty good. It is a light color blue, so it's not showing up real well on my clear stamper. Probably should have used a different one so you could see it better. But let's put it on the black. And that looks really good. Oops. <laughs> Got these stringy things hanging off. Yeah, I like how that looks. That looks very nice on the black. Okay, so here you go. I love this as a stamping polish and a holographic polish. So this is really nice. It looks great on white and it looks good on black. So I think it's pretty good stamping polish. So we have Crystal Baller and that is this is a deeper blue holographic. Very beautiful. So here's one coat of Crystal Baller. This has the same nice formula that the other ones had. Very easy to apply. Just glides right on. Super nice. And here's our second coat. And that looks very nice. Okay, let's see how it does as a stamping polish. And it does pick up really great. I did switch to my Uber Chic Sticky Stamper so maybe you can see the color a little bit better. And that one looks really good. Wow, how amazing. Okay, so I think this does um, as really good as a stamping polish over white and black. The last one I have is What's Your Sign? And this appears to be like a very pretty light pink. I thought it was kind of maybe a whitish color, but I'm, I'm very pleased with it. When I got home, it looked like a little bit more pink, but I completely love it. This is gonna be great. Same formula as the other two. It was beautiful. Okay, and here's the second coat. I'm going to stop at two coats. If you wanted it a little darker, you could probably do three coats. But it is a very pretty color. Yep, it picks up perfect. And looks great on black. Awesome. So here we have it over black and white, and it doesn't show up that well over the white. It's probably going to show up more um, as a stamping polish over darker polishes better, but it does, you know, it does give a hint of sparkle over the white, so it's, it's not terrible. Um, that it's, I think it's very pretty. My overall opinion is that I really love these as stamping polishes. They are absolutely amazing, which is really exciting because I'm, you know, liking to get more stamping nail polishes. So these are great. These are great for regular nail polishes and stamping nail polishes. And they also come in gel nail polishes, which I didn't buy any of the sets. Sometimes that they're kind of hard to find and they're really expensive, but, um, they do come in gel as well. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.